Hi, my name is Michael Anderson with Blue Pit Customs. I'd like to welcome you to a Street Kills video chronicle. This chronicle is uh, why should I port my cylinder heads? And we're going to be going through uh, cylinder head valves, cylinder valves, uh, what is a valve, you know, what is, uh, what is a valve seat, what is a valve guide, all the, all the good stuff. This is for, uh, you know, novice to beginner mechanics or you know, just uh, shade tree mechanics. Anybody that wants to learn about a cylinder head, we're gonna go over it. We're gonna we're gonna teach you what a stock cylinder head head is. You know, the different size valves, the different things you can do to make them faster. We're, our base is gonna be the LS1 cylinder head because you can see in it, and you know, you get uh, get good views on it. So we're gonna start with uh, with cylinder head valves. Um, typically, on a V8, you you have uh, like four different sizes. You have the 19190, uh, which is like a 5.3 liter LS cylinder head valve. You have the 2 inch, then uh, that's in uh, like a 243 cylinder head, that's like an LS1, um, 5.7, 6.0. Then if you want to start going to aftermarket valves, you can get a 2.02 inch uh, stainless steel valve. You can get a 2.05 and a 2.08. And you know, it just depends on how much machine work and money you want to put in your cylinder head you know, to make it perform better. So, we'll start off by explaining to you the, the minute differences that create huge horsepower gains in cylinder heads and, you know, for guys that don't know what they're, you know, don't know a lot about, I, I don't want to say don't know what they're doing, but don't know a lot about cylinder heads and valves, this is a good, uh, this is a good uh, gauge to show you how minute a change can make a lot of horsepower. So if you come over here, I call this the, the penny and the dime trick. If you look at the penny and the dime, for the most part, you know, they're, they're pretty close to, uh, that's a nasty penny. They're pretty close to the same size. But this penny would represent like a 190 valve and this would be like a two inch valve. And the difference, if you put them together, is so minute that, you know, that's the difference. But that difference in the cylinder head valve world can be, you know, depending on the, the valve seat cut and the valve cut, can be up to 20 horsepower gain. So we'll go to the real world application. This is a 190 LS uh, Vortec, you know, 5.3, 4.8 liter cylinder head valve. This is a two inch LS1, 6.0, 243, 317 cylinder head valve. If you put them together and you flip them over, you'll see that the difference is minute, kind of like the penny and the dime. Well, the difference between these two valves with the proper valve seat cut and the proper valve cut is a good 15 to 20 horsepower, everything else being the same. Now, if you take this valve, the two inch valve, and you jump into a 208 intake valve, obviously the valve's back cut. It's, you know, a higher dollar valve, but we're looking at just size here. You put that on top of there, and the difference is still minute. This is two inch, this is 2.08. So 0 0.08 is gonna give you, with the proper valve cut, is gonna give you a bump up over this, uh, over this 190. It's gonna give you about a 20 horsepower bump, 25 horsepower bump. It can give you about a 10 horsepower bump over the two inch valve easily. So, I mean, that shows you how minute, how minute the changes are. So we'll, let's, look at the, let's look at the cylinder head and uh, we'll go over, this is called the valve seat. That's what the valve seats to when the valve closes, it seats right here, okay? If you look at the, the cylinder head valve, it's cut in three different angles, they're real minute, you can barely see them, and then the cylinder head seat is cut in three different angles. The valve actually seats on the first or the second row. When the valve opens, the air comes through, okay? That's the valve seat. This is called the bowl of the cylinder head, obviously because it looks like a bowl. So when you, when you, wanna, when you wanna look at these, you wanna look at how the, the, the actual valve seat matches up with the cylinder head in the blending, okay? Just a simple bowl blend can add you 510 horsepower. This is a CNC ported AFR cylinder head, so uh, it's a little bit different than stock, but the same principles apply. So I'm gonna teach you a little bit like uh, in, the, in the Chevy, uh, LS base world or the V8 base world, these two valves are in two different cylinder heads. But this valve seat and this valve seat, the 5.3 liter head and the the two inch, uh, the two inch 
which would be like a 317 or a 243 cylinder head or a 241. The valve seats are the same from the factory. A lot of people don't know that. So what they'll do is they'll take the 5.3 liter and they'll put a two inch valve in there. And when they do that, they actually lose horsepower. Well, I just contradicted everything that I said. What you gotta understand is, is if you look at the seat here again, if you slide this two inch valve in here, okay, and if it seats right here on this seat, okay, you see it's it's deeper in there. But what they do is they cut they cut the two inch valve, they cut the seat a little bit for this to seat. But if you look at this versus the AFR valve, say the valve opens that much, this valve opens the same amount. If you take a look, you can see that the smaller valve gives you more airflow with this valve seat, everything else being the same. So I highly, highly recommend if you're, if you're porting a set of, uh, of stock uh, 5.3 liter cylinder heads, do not put the two inch valves in because the valve seat is the same on both. And I'll show you on the drawing board here why. Okay, and this is, this is you know, I'm, I'm no scientist, but this is common sense. If you have your seat, okay, if you have your seat here, this is the cylinder head, this is the runner and the guide, this is your turn down, okay, this right here is called a turn down. This is the, this back side, I call it the back radius, there's a bunch of different, different, you know, things to call it. This up here, from here forth is called the runner. This right here is called the bowl. Okay, and the turn down. This I call, this is the roof for the most part. Okay. Now, when you have that valve, you go from uh, the 190 series valve. Okay, I'm gonna put them right on top of each other. This right here in the cylinder head, this is called the valve guide. It obviously guides the valve inside the cylinder head. Okay. That's the valve. This is 190. Okay. You take this valve, and if you look in here, this is exact same length across. You take that 190 valve. When the air comes through, when the valve's open, the air goes like so. Okay. Instantly. Okay. You take the 190 valve away and you make it a two inch valve. We're gonna have to drop it down in order to make it fit because obviously the valve's gonna seat deeper. So you're, we're gonna drop it down to here. Then we're gonna show you the two inch valve. Okay, not the greatest artist. Now look, at, look what happens. It opens the same amount, but now the air has to travel further around to get to its point. So what you did is you plugged a small hole with a big plug instead of plugging a small hole with the right size plug. And what they do is they cut these seats a little bit more of an angle right there. Then they cut this one a little bit more of an angle to allow that valve to seat. Okay. But the, but the circumference of the guide is exactly the same. So once again, if you take and you put the, you put the 190 valve in there, what happens is, is the air has less of a distance to travel. Instead, it goes here instead of going all the way out to here. So you will get more air. You know, it's just kind of common sense. And you'll have more velocity, which gives you torque. So that's, that's why we don't do that. Now, if you had these, these seats professionally cut and widened, then the two inch valve will give you more power. But if you're just having the valves seated in there, two inch valve seat in there, you're not going to gain, you're actually going to lose a little bit. So what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about your bowl of your cylinder head right here. The, the most important thing you can do is you can blend this. Usually from the factory, it comes with a little notch like that. So when the air comes through, the air hits here and bounces a little bit. Well, that can cause a little bit of a, a little bit of turmoil inside this area of your cylinder head. Okay. That would be a stock cast heads like that. So by simply just taking this off, with the, you know, with a nice sander and, and blending it all beautifully, your air now flows perfectly and you don't have any turmoil right here. This is, this all goes away. So a lot of people don't understand by widening a cylinder head port, there's certain spots where the air will stall. Okay. 
So if you take this stock cylinder head port and you make it way wider, you're like, yeah, I hogged out my cylinder heads. Oh, dude, you know, redneck TV. What happens is, is when your air flows through there, through the intake, it goes into such a big space that the air actually stalls. So if your air stalls, you're not going to get any velocity. You're going to lose all torque. At high RPM, yeah, you'll, you'll gain a little bit by hogging them out so large. That's why I don't recommend, you know, just grab a drill and hog out your cylinder heads because you can actually, you can actually really screw up a lot of things. In most cases on a, on, a, on a stock cylinder head, you know, you don't want to touch the turn down. You want to raise the roof up a little bit. Keep, you know, keep the sides about the same so you keep your velocity. Once you hog out huge, this will work for a boosted application because, you know, you're working with a compressor that compresses air and forces it down the throat of your motor. So just be careful when, you know, you go with the bigger is better theory because it's not. Because your intake runner, you can only take it out so much. So if your intake runner is right here, as soon as that air comes in, you know, say you have, you have a window from here to here, the air is flowing in. Now all of a sudden you just make this a huge window. The air is going to go, oh, oh, wow, what a, you know, wow, there's no velocity, there's nothing in here. So just be very careful when you port your cylinder heads like that. Your best bet is, you know, is to research a lot. You know, go online, understand the theory before, you know, don't touch the base and raise the roof because your roof is where the air flows and turns down. Your turn down from the factory, if you're porting factory heads, is usually a very good turn down. All you need to do is clean it up a little bit. And you want on your turn down, like say here's your valve guide. Okay, let's just say that's the valve guide. Your turn down's right here. If you cut this off, you're doing yourself an injustice. Okay? You can shave it and reshape it a little bit and you know kind of kind of make your turn down, you know, go a little bit more. But right here where the valve seat is, you almost want a vertical wall because that helps straighten out the air. Okay? because your air needs to go around the valve. If you cut it straight across here, your air is gonna go, uh, and it's gonna hit the valve. So you want your air, the suction's coming from here, or the, the atmospheric pressure, whatever you wanna call it. So you wanna keep this kinda, and then come straight down, because what's gonna happen is it's not gonna go like that. It's gonna go, oh, slipstream, slipstream, right into your valve. Then the roof, the same thing, okay? You make this, this part, you know, dip in more, and then you know come down as long as you're coming straight down down here you're good because your air is going to hit but if you take this you know and you raise it way up here then you come down and then it goes like that you're going to find that the air is going to bounce off that wall so that wall's got to go just little tricks you know little tricks of the trade you know a lot of people a lot of people have different theories on porting don't take my theory as this is the bee's knees this guy is the you got to do what he does Find your own way and learn what you feel works the best, okay? And, and work with it. That's, that's your best bet. Or send it to a professional cylinder head porter. Pick his brain, tell him what you want, you know? If you want more torque, then you know, he's gonna tell you, you know, cam up, leave your heads alone for the most part. You know, or if you want, you know, total power gain, he's gonna say, let's, let's, let's hog them out, you know, let's, let's play with the turn down, let's, let's blend the bowl, let's mess with the valve guide, and then we'll cam up. And, you know, any torque that you might have lost, you're going to compensate with the cam. So you're going to torque up and then you're going to horsepower way up. So a lot of our dyno numbers on our LS heads, you know, people are like, oh, you know, a 5.7 liter LS1 is going to give you this and a 6 liter is going to give you that. Well, stock for stock, yes. But what we find is when we port the heads for both, you, 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 the horsepower is almost equal. The 6L will have about 20 more horsepower and about 5 more torque. The torque is almost equal because we're putting the same heads on the same motors and we're taking velocity out. So we're losing torque. You know, simple stuff like that will help you out. Our next video, uh, Street Kills Chronicle, is going to be cylinder head porting uh, 101 CNC versus cast. And then we'll dig into the, into the ports quite a bit. We'll actually, you know, explain, explain what portions of the runner do what, you know, in LS cylinder heads. We're going to do Honda heads. We're going to do a bunch of heads. So, you know... Stay tuned. Don't think we're just LS gurus. We, we do Honda heads, Acura heads, Mercedes heads. We do Ford heads. We do all kinds of heads. Just give us a little bit of uh, time to get to those. But uh, I would like to thank you for your time. 
you know, in watching this video, and I hope I cleared up a little, a few things. Please send us an email or something. You know, if, if we forgot something, please send us an email so we can go over that and, and help you guys out. You know, we'll we'll you know we'll cater to you. We'll, we'll hook you up. We don't want anybody running around with you know some jacked up cylinder head ports. We actually get them all the time. So, just uh, take care, and I'll see you in the next segment.